Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Gateway Community College. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at FRC Media. Joining us again for some more Bay, uh, Bristol Community College women's Bayhawks. Basketball against Gateway Community College is the first uh, women's game we've seen in quite a bit. The women's, uh, they've had some scheduling issues. They've had to cancel quite a few games, but they're back here tonight on student night here at LaFranche Gymnasium in, at Bishop Colony High School here in Florida, Massachusetts from FRC Media. I'm Craig Sal with our flying solo for tonight's game. As like I said, it is the Bristol Community College women's basketball team against Gateway Community College, and they are getting ready to start off tip-off. The Bayhawks coming in this game four and ten as Gateway is coming in five and ten. As Deborah Banks getting ready for tip-off, and the Bayhawks will win as Iris Rivera will catch it. She's going to pass to Megan Parrish. Parrish puts up a three immediately and hits right away. So Bayhawks get on the board immediately with a three from Megan Parrish. So Gateway will now get their first possession of the game. It's a pass to Elizabeth Stubbs. Rosso gets it stolen by Iris Rivera. Gets a pass to Parrish. Parrish with the bounce pass to Perino. The Megan and Megan connection connects. Two points for Megan Perino. Bayhawks up five to nothing early on in the contest. Bringing up is Chantel Ratchford. Ratchford gonna drive herself. She'll get fouled. It appears it's gonna be on Deborah Banks, her first, team first. And it will, so 
They're not going to say it was in the act of shooting, so Ratchford's going to have to inbound the ball. She will get it off to TJ Jones. Here's a three in the corner. It gets it to go. Gateway gets their first points of the game. Harris with a long pass to Rivera. Rivera with a deep three. Almost, but couldn't connect. Rebounded by Sidney Downer. Ratchford bringing it up. Gateway point guard gives it away to the 21. Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso. Peroso looking to pass. Long pass into no man's land. It'll get picked up by Jones. Jones going to center it, give it to Ratchford. Ratchford trying to direct traffic. Shot clock winding down to seven seconds. Ratchford now in the corner looking to drive. Gets a pass. Can't pass it though as Megan Parrish is there to intercept it. Gets the ball knocked out of bounds. It'll be off gateway. Parrish will have the ball to inbound. Parrish takes it, looking to drive, plants herself. A nice pass to Contractor. Contractor putting it up, can't get it to go. Slaps it to Perino, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Carlissa Nelson. 8.20 left to play in the first. Bayhawks with a two point lead. Only one foul so far. Bounce pass here is Jones gonna give it away. Gets it stripped and Parrish gonna be hustling down the court. She's going to her right. Got some contact, no call. Rivera now turn around, throws it up. She'll get fouled, and she's going to go to line shooting too. Foul will be on Carlisa Nelson. Gateway coach getting vocal. Iris gets the first one to go, six to three Bayhawks. Can't get the second one to go, gets rebounded by contract and no, it gets taken away by Downer. Ball will get tipped up, but Ratchford is there to secure it. Ratchford gonna go all the way, goes to her right, a little Euro step action and lays it in for two points. Nice play by Chantel Ratchford. Harris now bringing it up, gets the pass to Rivera. Rivera, angle three, no good. Almost got rebounded by Perino and she'll secure it. Gives the ball to Parrish. Parrish gonna center herself. She'll give it to Banks. Banks looking to drive. She'll put up a short jumper, gets that one to go, two points. Deborah Banks from the paint gets a two pointer to go. Bayhawks lead 8-5, 7-20 left in the first quarter. Ratchford just puts up a three from the top of the key, no good. Perina almost got the rebound. It's gonna get taken and thrown back in bounds by TJ Jones. Ratchford looking to drive, stops herself, pass it to Downer, gets it taken away. Rivera gets the steal. Rivera gonna bring the ball down. She's got Jones on her, she's gonna break her. She'll pass to Banks, a nice no look pass and Banks banks it home for two points. Good movement from the Bayhawks. And something interesting with the Bayhawks, we only saw this five, the group that's out right now, we only saw them warming up. So Bayhawks might be playing without a bench today, so they gotta get off to an early lead if that's gonna be the case. They're gonna have to play the entire game by themselves as Ratchford tries to lay it in, going to her right, can't get it to go. Banks got the rebound, she'll give it to Rivera. Rivera with a long pass to Parrish. Parrish gonna drive, goes under the basket, can't get it to go, but she got fouled on the play, so she'll go to the line to shoot two. Fouls on Sydney Downer, I believe that's her second. will calmly sink both foul shots as Ratchford will bring it up for the Lions. Tell me that. I'm tired. 
Jones with the ball, looking to do something, gives it to Nelson. Long pass over Downer. And Contractor comes up with it, it's a steal. Parrish with the ball, looking to drive, she'll give it away to Perino. Perino with the jumper, can't get it to go, but Banks is there for the rebound and she'll put it back. Deborah Banks getting it done from underneath the basket. Ratchford looking to take it herself. And Gateway will call a timeout. So it's quick 30 second timeout. Bayhawks leading 14 to five in the early going. Again, 535 left in the first quarter. Neither team really causing too many fouls. Sydney Downer for Gateway. She's got two, which is both of Gateways right now. But Gateway appearing to have a bit more of a bench than BCC. BCC looks like they have five players dressed to play. So again, BCC might just be playing, you know, they're gonna have to play Savage. They're gonna have to play the entire game, it may look like. So if Gateway can utilize their bench correctly, you know, Gateway can definitely come back from this, but we'll see how BCC goes. BCC always the resilient team. And again, if they can keep up with what they've been doing, definitely can pull out a win today. So after the timeout, it'll be Gateway's possession. Ball gets stripped, Contractor going to the ground to try to get it, they're gonna call a foul on her. So that'll be, that'll be uh, Rivera's uh, first foul, team second. Long pass, got taken by Parrish. Parrish looking to drive all the way. She's gonna go to her right, throws it up off the glass, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Banks, she'll throw it up again. Takes a while and gets it to go. Deborah Banks again, another two points. Another rebound again, showing her presence from underneath the basket. Ratchford will give to Jones. Jones from the top of the key will give it right back to, Ra to Ratchford. It's another timeout from Gateway. So the Lions taking two quick timeouts here in the first quarter. It's another 30 second timeout. And we'll keep it right here. So after the timeout, Gateway possession of the ball. Jones gives it to Ratchford. Ratchford looking to drive up the middle. And she's going to get fouled on the play. Fouls on Megan Perino. That's her first team third. Ratchford will go to the line to shoot two. We've got some upcoming games for the Lady Bayhawks. Coming up on Tuesday the 6th, it'll be at Naval Prep Academy at 5. Then Thursday the 15th, it'll be at Bunker Hill Community College at 5.30. Then Naval Prep Academy will be here on the 17th for 1 o'clock. And we move on. After that, it'll be the playoffs. Again, BCC are now 4-10. Uh, and 10. Shots over shot, under shot by Iris Rivera. Gets rebounded by Ratchford. Rivera tries to get the steal, knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay right here with Gateway. They got 18 seconds left on the shot clock.
A little shot clock problems, but they got it settled. 14 seconds now left on the shot clock as they inbound it. Ratchery gets the bounce pass, losing it, but getting it right back is number 21, Elizabeth Stubbs Ferroso. Throws it up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Perino. She'll give it to Parrish. Parrish gonna take her time bringing it up. Finds Rivera. Rivera gonna go to her left, stopping herself, stepping back. Is it back to Parrish? Parrish will feed it to Banks, and they're gonna say Banks traveled. I believe that's the first turnover for the Bayhawks here. It's one of, if not the first. Ratchford throws it over to Jones. Jones back to Ratchford. Ratchford with a deep three. Can't get it to go. Tipped away and rebounded by Perino. She's been good on the boards today. Parrish will drive, throws up a floater off the glass, no good. Parrish almost got the rebound. Banks comes away with it, got her shot altered, but Parrish comes away with it. And she will center herself and get a new possession. Banks thought about putting up a two. Gives it back to Parrish at the top of the key. She's just gonna throw it up. It's gonna hit the net and go out of bounds. It'll be Gateway's ball. Lisa Nelson steps into the game as Stubbs Peroso will take out. We'll take a break. Bounce pass, I think, went off of Rivera, but it gets taken by Jones. Here's a short jumper for two, no good. Rebounded by Banks. Banks will give it to Rivera. Jones trying to take it from Rivera, but she'll stick with it. Rivera gets a screen, gonna work her way around. Ratchford can't get it to go, it gets rebounded by Downer. Now here comes Ratchford on the other end. Trying to show off the handles. Bounce pass to Downer, gets it right back to Ratchford. Shot clock at 14, Jones taking her time. 10 seconds now. Four seconds, two seconds, they're not gonna have time. It goes out of bounds and they're gonna say that it is, yep, the shot clock violation or went out of bounds. Either way, it's Bayhawks ball. I think they are saying. Either way, it's Bayhawks ball. Rivera shoots a three, can't get that one to go. Banks. It's a nice attempt trying to save it, but she was out of bounds, so it'll be Gateway's ball. Ratchford gets to Jones. Jones at the top of the key. BCC playing very good zone defense right now. Tries to feed it in to Nelson. Can't get it to work, got tipped and goes out of bounds. Again, Bayhawks ball and another turnover. BCC doing a great job causing lots of turnovers. And again, taking advantage of it. They're up by nine points, 140 left in the first quarter. Rivera at an angle. She'll give it to Perino. Perino gonna step in, put up a two. Just short, gets rebounded by Downer. Ratchford now is gonna try to break right through the center, throws up a floater, no good. Roma went for the rebound, got it knocked away by Deborah Banks and went off Banks last, so Gateway will inbound. There's Jones now gonna throw up a floater off the glass, can't get it to go, rebounded by Contractor. They're gonna say Contractor traveled. Yep, dragged her foot on the rebound, so Gateway will get the ball right back. Very special guest in the house tonight. We have the Bristol Community College Bayhawk over in the corner. 
rare appearance from him. Don't see him too often. It's good that he could come out on student night supporting the women's team. And Bayhawks get the turnover, so Rivera now gonna go to her right, throws up with the left hand, causes the foul. Foul is on Chroma, that's her first. Her first team, third. And we're able to calmly sink both foul shots. Got less than a minute now here in the first quarter. Gateway really just struggling to get anything going here in the early going. Deborah Banks almost gets a steal. They're going to call it jump ball. And they're going to say it's going to stay as Gateway's ball. So they'll inbound it from underneath their own basket. Long pass to Tasia Jones. Here's Ratchford in the corner for three, overshot it. Rebounded though by down, uh, Downer, can't get it to go. Rebounded now by BCC. Iris Rivera with the ball gets to Megan Parrish and we are now joined by Dave Cardoza. I am no longer flying solo. Dave, how you doing today? <laughs> well, you know how they say, Craig, you know, the stars are out tonight. That's good that you could and join us here for student night. <laughs> and when you talk about stars, you don't have to look no further than right up here when you look as good as we look. Anyways, so they were going to say that Ratchford uh, is a foul on the play. 2.3 seconds remaining in the first quarter. I see you got your Thursday's best on. I do. You're on student night. My new shirt got to look the best, dressed to impress. <laughs> it's been a long time since we called the, uh, the women's game. Yeah, I was talking about that at the beginning of the game. They've had some scheduling issues over the last couple weeks, but, you know, they're back here at LaFrance Gymnasium as we end the first quarter here with Bristol Community College up 20 to seven to begin the, the begin the game. So yeah, end of the first quarter. Something interesting, Dave. BCC, it seems like they're only playing with five players. They only have five players dressed. They only had five players for warm-ups. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. We've, it's nothing new we've seen. You know, yeah. BCC has always had, a sh BCC's <laughs> women's team seem to always have a short bench, but they are really getting it done here. They're playing zone defense right now, and it's really been working. They've been getting a lot of stops. Gateway really hasn't been able to do much with possessions causing. They've been getting lots of turnovers, and they've been scoring on the other end. So again, BCC with their zone defense working really well, which is good, especially since they have no bench. They're gonna have to keep this up throughout the course of the game. And that's very surprising to see. Usually we see them struggle you know, when, they, um, when they're down, when they're uh, down a couple roster spots, it's great to see them up 20 to seven, rising to the occasion here on student night. Who do we got, like, is this like uh, Bobby the Bayhawk over here? I mean, who is this? Uh, Who's the mascot? I don't know what his name is, but I know he is the Bristol Community <laughs> College Bayhawk. He's out here to have some fun, get the crowd pumped up there. We have a DJ over in the corner, so that's definitely interesting. You got some entertainment. There's gonna be prizes, there's gonna be giveaways. Why does it have to be student night to have this? This is great. Yeah, some, we need this every night. Exactly. Because we've got some people in the stands. It was hard to find a parking spot over here. It looks pretty happening. And, um, and then we get the men's game tonight. We get the, we the, men's. the men's game tonight. Yes, sir. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to the rest of this. Second quarter action. Yep, second Glad quarter. Glad I can make it. So anyway, after the first quarter again, BCC off to a hot start as they will be inbounding the ball. It's Deborah Banks going to be in inbounding to Megan Parrish. The boss. The boss. I don't think we ever gave Megan a nickname. <laughs> no, she's just she, Megan. She is just Megan. <laughs> Someone to talk about who's actually been doing pretty good today is uh, Megan Perino. I know she usually gets lost in the shuffle, but she's been doing really well on the boards. She scored a couple points. She has been doing wow, good. Oh, that's and good. And it's really good to see her step up, especially since she's pretty much going to have to play the entire game. And that's definitely right. Megan Perino usually does get lost in the shuffle, Craig. And, you know, those numbers right there that you're telling me, that's, that shows very good improvement. So hopefully um, BCC can sustain. And it looks like Deborah Banks stepped out of bounds right there. It looked like it. I thought she was good amount still in bounds, but a ref's call, so. Yeah, so turnover. Uh, BCC, another thing they've been doing good, they haven't had a lot of turnovers. They've, been a, they've done a good job maintaining possession of the ball. 
as here is a short jumper for two, two points for Gateway. I believe that was Downer. Nice little soft little mini hook there. Floating it through. Rivera trying to cut to the rim. She'll throw it up, goes off of the rim. And it's better, rebounded by Ratchford. Better ball movement on that position by BCC. And that one gets bounced out of bounds. So it'll be BCC's ball on the other end. And one thing BCC has lacked, Craig, like some of the games that we've seen, is just some offensive uh, continuity. You know, look, they look to be uh, more in sync. I've only, been up, I've only seen them up the court a couple times, but. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is actually the first game of the second half we're calling for them. Step back jumper. I want to say that we called a double header right after the break. We might have. But I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been such a long time. Feels like that anyway. Hmm. anyway. I didn't see what they called. Not exactly sure. Gateway with the basketball, though. Yeah. Didn't seem like a travel, but either way. Again, Gateway's ball. That's blocked by Deborah Banks. Iris Rivera will come up with it. They're going to double team or get the ball right back. Here's Ratchford going to lay it up off the glass and get it in for two. <laughs> wow, a nice little steal there. And then the pass. Who was that? That was a... Uh, that was uh, Chantel Ratchford got the points. I believe Tasia Jones got the rebound here, or the steal. Megan Parrish tried putting up a three, couldn't get to go. Megan Perino gets the steal, though, wide Look at open. Perino. Going to throw it up Look off the that. glass for two. Told you she's wow. stepping up big in this game. Again, Megan Perino, the steal, and then finishing it with the two point layup. Somebody stepped their game up. And that, that shot by Megan Parrish almost looked like it went in. You know what it is? It might be the new shoes. You remember she always wore the bright shoes. Now she's wearing the standard green Bristol Community College team shoes. Definitely the shoes. BCC looking scared to like get in the way of Gateway. They are letting they are letting Gateway get right into the lane and do whatever they want right now. They look like they're scared to scared to foul. Um, throughout the first quarter, wasn't much for fouls. Uh, there was a decent amount. Each team got about three, I believe. So a decent amount in the first quarter. As Tasia Jones has it, gives it to Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso. And Gateway just caught napping. They let the shot clock wind down. And didn't even look like they tried to really attempt to do anything with it with the shot clock winding down. That's kind of odd. Because the way that BCC's playing defense right now, not really contesting shots. Ooh, that's, that's Banks' shot right there. Wide open, couldn't get it to go, though. It gets rebounded by Gateway. That's Peroso with the ball. She's going to give it to Jones. Get 10 on the shot clock. Yeah, BCC again, the shot clock's been winding down. It could be either BCC defense, but again, Gateway hasn't been very fast on offense. BCC is like, um, they are looking now match as far as height goes. You got Carlissa Nelson out there, six foot three forward. She, she comes from Lime Hill, Jamaica. And Sydney Downer, who we mentioned before, a six foot center, sophomore from Bridgeport, Connecticut. So BCC being outmatched as far as the, uh, the height game goes. Yep, but right now they are leading 22 to 11. Their shot clock's starting to wind down. That gets stolen by Peroso. Gives it to Jones. Jones gonna take it up. Jones gonna try to turn on the jet. She'll pass to Downer, throws up a two, no good. Gets rebounded by Nelson. Nelson gets hacked and it goes out of bounds. Foul is on Iris Rivera, so Nelson's gonna go, to, I believe it's gonna be Nelson going on the line. You know what it is too, Craig, is since BCC is only, since they only have five ladies, I think they're scared to foul. They're scared to foul out of the game because then you're down to four, what, three ladies. So I think that might be part of the reason they're, they're playing a little bit passive on defense. Like, a, I mean, look at that. that is they basically just let point. her do that. That is a very good point. Again, you don't want to play with less than what you got. But you're still going to maintain a little bit of level of aggressiveness. It's so tough. Yeah. Banks now going to give it to Perino. They're going to say... I think she carried it. I didn't see what happened. And we've seen that also too, Craig, where BCC has had a lead late in the game, 
and they've only played with five players, and then one of them fouls out and it ends up like costing them the game. So that might be the, the mindset defensively right now for the Lady Bayhawks. We beat them on offense, just try to score more than they can. Yeah. Jones Still gonna get step a seven, put up a two, no good, rebounded by Parrish. Parrish gonna drive, she's got three on her, gonna slow herself up. Gets a pass to Rivera, wide open, a, oh, deep, a three deep three from Bang. Curry Land, gets it to go. <laughs> Iris Rivera not afraid to shoot from far, she gets it to go. She's got that excellent set shot and she was set out there for days. Excellent shot out there. Face up with the basket, that's her shot. She, she can hit that. Oh, here's a long two, no good. Gets rebounded by Downer, easily puts it up back for two points. 25-15, 5.30 left in the half. And that shot's on Banks. She's got a, the boss over there, she's got a box out. She had a lot of space in between her and uh, the offensive player there. She needed to get she needed to get a body on her, and she didn't do it. Banks now with the ball. Going to feed it over to Contractor. Contractor going to box out. Gets blocked. And Perino tries to save it, but it goes off of her and out of bounds. So the Lions will have the ball. Gateway's bench isn't that deep either, Craig. They need to take it, they need to take it right at the Giant there. They need to take it right at the Amazon, Car uh, Carlissa Nelson. Take it right at her. She's going She's going to go for the block. Here's Ratchford gets it stolen, but got it right back and it hits a two. Wow. Wow. Wow is right. Short in stature, a big heart. Chantel Ratchford. Nice little play there. Yeah, she got the ball stolen, immediately got it back, and just in transition, just threw up the two-pointer. Pass to Megan, going to go up with Very her right good. hand off the left side, gets it to go. Good find and good play. I'll tell you what, Iris Rivera, she's very, she's very crafty with the basketball. And that was a nice, that was a nice pass there to find a cutting Parrish on the baseline. There's Jones who gets contractor in front of her, draws the foul. And Adia not getting there, not getting there quick enough. You know, she she went to go try to cut. Uh, Tasia Jones off, but you got to get over there and set your feet. And those are the fouls that you, those are the fouls you don't want. You don't want easily contested layups, but if you're going to foul her, foul her. Interesting here. None of Gateway's players going to be down there in case of a rebound situation. And she crossed the line before the ball hit the rim, so it's going to be Bayhawks ball, no shot. Yeah, she missed both free throws, and either way, 27-17, to 17, BCC still holding on to that lead. I think if you're BCC, slow the game. Slow the game up. Because you need to hold on to that lead. Vera now with the ball. BCC now taking their time with it. It's passed to Banks. Nice Ooh. catch by Banks. And she but traveled. She traveled. Ooh. Tough spot. It was, again, it was a good catch by Banks. Tried to get it off the glass in transition, but couldn't get it to go. Just picked up her foot too quick. I like the way that BCC is playing it, though, right now. Slowing the game down, making the most out of every possession, knowing that defensively they're kind of limited with the, with, the, uh, with the manpower, the woman power that they have, I should say. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. Goes off of Deborah Banks last. I don't know if Taja Jones, if she was trying to really make something out of there or she just deliberately tried to throw it off somebody. But either Tough way, they the ball. Here's a long two-pointer, and it's good. That is Sydney Downer. Sydney and, Downer yeah. gets the two-pointer to go. And she's been, shooting out, she's been shooting out there for a hot minute from that same spot. She finally hits one. Law of averages. Yeah, Gateway not shooting too much from beyond the arc. They have been trying quite a few long two-pointers we've seen. As Deborah Banks going to the rack, gets it, her shot altered. And now Ratchford going. She's got Iris Rivera on her. A little Ooh. Euro step, and Rivera just knocks it down. Out of bounds, a clean block. And Gateway will inbound the ball. Yeah, good job by Iris Rivera getting her hand in there. That was a good defensive play by her. And it was a good job reading it because Ratchford tried to, you know, tried to deceive her, tried going one way when she's really going the other. Iris followed it the entire way and was able just to knock it out of her hands. Yeah, but then on the, on the preceding play, the next play, Idia Contract is the only one that's playing really aggressive defensively. Now she has 
Does she have two fouls now? It's either two or three. Yeah, so she got to be careful there. 27 to 19, Craig, so it's a point lead. If they can keep uh, Gateway at bay right here, you know, keep it to about an 8, 10 point lead going into the second half, they'll be they'll be in good shape. But I, I like the way that they're I like the way that they're scheming it here. They're kind of holding on on the offensive end. They're kind of holding on to the basketball, kind of kind of working the clock a little bit, and then trying to get the best shot they can. You know, I think the least the less possessions that uh, Gateway can have, it's going to be good for BCC. Yeah, definitely on the because offensive of, end, they make it their game. Because yeah, defensively, you, you, you know, you can't afford to you can't afford to get girls in in foul trouble. You know, you can't afford to get anybody in foul trouble because once once you're down, like you know, once it's like a power play situation, you know, it's not going to be you know, you can pretty uh, pretty much put this one in the bag. I'm missing from the Bayhawks tonight is Kaylee Oliver and Casey Amaral. We talked about Kaylee Oliver a lot during the season. Yeah, so it's she's a good, it's a big good, loss. Uh, good, good shooter. Shot. Yeah, you're missing a shooter out there. We always talk about their strongest lineup, and we don't see it that much. Parrish plants herself and threw up a two, couldn't get it to go, got rebounded by Downer, and here comes Ratchford. Iris Honor, she's gonna draw. Oh, nice contact. defensive play. Nice good throw. job. Banks is going to dive on top of it. It's a jump ball. That's what I'm talking about. Getting back on defense, beating them to the spot. And that's a good, that's a good defensive play there without fouling. Yeah, Ratcher tried to run right into her, but, yeah, good luck, basically. Yeah. This is a surprising lead, given the um, given the height and the ability that Gateway has. They're not there. The Gateway is not shooting well. You know, they're not they're not really uh, attacking attacking the basket anymore like they were. So, and BCC holding them to 19 points. That's pretty. That's a pretty good job here in the first half. I have to say. Rivera in the corner now for three. Ooh, that would have been a, that would have been a big one. She had the open look. Uh, couldn't get it to go. He's got rebounded by Nelson. Here's Ratchford again. A nice bounce pass. Throwing it up. Can't get it to go, though. And Nelson will get the rebound and a foul. I think it's on Banks. That's what I mean. You're letting them, like, they're cutting through your defense like Swiss cheese. That's what Gateway needs to do. Because right now, um, BCC's playing like that phantom defense. They're putting the hands up, but they're not, you know, like I said, they're, they're playing like scared to foul. Or scared to make any kind of contact, or that's just the way it looks like. And now Gateway not having anybody down near the free throw line to rebound, kind of an interesting situation. Yeah, I was thinking that too. You know, they're not letting um, they're not letting BCC get any advantages. And all the way to the basket. Yeah, How about all that? Way. You'd like to see more of that from MP. Two minutes left to play in the half. Gateway cuts it down to, they cut it down to less than 10 now, nine points. Gonna drive going all the way to the I left, mean, can't get it to go. Deborah Banks gets the rebound. Get at the <laughs> lane wide open. BCC is like daring them to shoot and they're not making any shots. And so it's crazy. And again, yeah, Gateway hasn't really been able to get their offense going this whole game. Yeah, BCC's given them a layup drill and they're not, look at nice pass from Matt Parrish. Then Contractor, Contractor is there. Right there. Contractor getting the rebound and throws it up. She gets in on the fun, gets two points. Adia. Look at this. I mean, oh, nice. Yeah, turnaround jumper, no good. It looks like Banks got her hand on that, but. Again, tipped up. Who's going to get it? you going to get that basketball. Jump ball, see who it goes to. It is going to go to Gateway. <laughs> Gateway coach yelling at his team, tell him to squeeze it. You gotta squeeze that basketball. He has been very vocal throughout this game. Yeah, my coach used to tell me to squeeze tennis balls. You say used to have those little hand grips too. Mm -hmm. That's Steve a deep three. Gets wow! It to go. wow. Talk about Curryland. Yeah, Chantel Ratchford gets Ratch it to go for three. 
And now Rivera going all the way for two. Look at that. I see Iris Rivera has the, uh, the best all-around game on this uh, BCC squad. Yeah, we talked about that throughout the first uh, half of the season. Yeah, Iris Rivera, good on the handles, good on the shooting part, and also really good with the flashy passing. Yeah. Ratchford stepped back, tries to put up a three, got her shot altered. Banks will come up with it, gives it to Parrish, 30 seconds left. Parrish going to slow it up. If I'm... Rivera thought about it. I would Still hold it. Still thinking about it. I would hold it if I'm BCC. Yep. You don't want to give Gateway another possession. Yeah, Parrish with the ball again, slowing the pace. Gateway not really trying on defense. Banks sets a screen. Oh, nice Bounce pass. Rivera, good nice find. job. And landed it in with the left hand as Iris Rivera. Good job there. Nice pass by Parrish. And five seconds left. Gateway going to act quick. Ratchford now going to drive, throws it up off the glass, too strong into the arms of Adia Contractor, and that ends the half with BCC up 35-23. to 23. And that's a good half there by BCC here on student night. Good job. Only five, only five women on the, uh, on the active roster tonight, so that's a great job by them. Holding Gateway to 23 points. Looking forward to the second half. Yep, so it's a great job for the first half for this BCC team. Stay here at FRC Media and watching us on Facebook Live for Dave Cardoza and Craig Salvador. Stay tuned for some second half action up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here for the second half action of this Bristol Community College Women's Bayhawks basketball game against Gateway Community College here at La France Gymnasium in Fall River, Massachusetts. I am Craig Salvador, joined as always by Dave Cardoza. And Dave, what do you see in the first half of the game with BCC leading 35 to 23? I see, well, we haven't seen um, the Bristol Community College women's team in a little bit, Craig, but um, I'm seeing a lot of different BCC team. I'm seeing a lot more of efficient uh, basketball team on the offensive end and defensively, even though they are under womaned today, they've held gateway to 23 points. So good defensive showing. And there's a top of the key shot there, almost, almost went in. Well, it's similar to how the first half kicked off. The first half, it actually kicked off with uh, Megan Parrish just draining a three right out the gates in the first five seconds of the game. So the second half, almost starting e uh, eerily similar with Iris Rivera. But and BCC looking for their second win in the conference in Region 21. And that's what Gateway needs to do right there. Dumping into number 40 there, Kalissa Nelson. She's got the height advantage. That she does. Again, six foot three freshman from Lime Hill, Jamaica. And Gateway gets a steal. And they're going to give it to her. But she totally, yep, definitely traveled on the yeah, play. Yeah, she traveled. She was all off balance. Mm -hmm. And again, BCC on the defense side. I wouldn't say they're playing their greatest defensive game. Just uh, Gateway has just been awful. You know, uh, BCC has given them a lot of lanes to drive. They're cutting through the, uh, they're cutting through the lane there. But they're missing a lot of easy shots Gateway did in the first half. Deborah Banks tries to drive and throw it up. Can't get it to go. She does get fouled, though, so she'll go to the line. And, yeah, definitely, you know, BCC playing very conservative defense. Again, they don't want to foul out, considering they only have enough players right now just to field a team. And we've seen it happen where BCC has held their own. They've had leads late in games against, uh, against different teams. And they've, they've played with only five players before, and... That one player fouls out, it can all go downhill from there. I mean, you're talking about a five and four advantage. Um, that's something they're going to try to stay away from today. And Tebber Banks makes both free throws. Looking good from the free throw line. The boss. The boss. Happy to be here on student night. Yeah, you were saying we should do this. They should do student night every night. Exactly. You got the DJ at the mascot dancing in the half. <laughs> and that was a nice shot there. Nice shot there by uh, Chantel Ratchford. She's been their leading scorer here. She was on the line, though. That was only a two. Yeah, she's, been, uh, she's definitely been one of the better players for Gateway as Rivera tries to bank it home, can't get it to go. She gets her own rebound, though. She's going to try to bounce pass to Banks. Doesn't go for it. Parrish able to pick up the pieces. Gonna oh, get it nice, past a nice contractor. Dump in, nice dump in, a nice, nice shot up there by Adia Contractor. Adia Contractor with a couple baskets underneath. Yeah, we talked about, you know, um, when the bench runs thin or it's just non-existent, you always see who steps up. And Adia Contractor and Megan Perino both been stepping up in this game. Here's a shot from the Cherry Shrug, and that gets to go from Sydney Downer. Yeah, Sydney Downer there right from the free throw line. Nice shot. 
Iris will give it to Parrish to Banks. Banks gonna plant her feet, puts up a two, can't get it to go. Contractor gets the rebound, throws it up, can't oh, get that to go. Adia had another shot at it. Gonna get, she, gonna, she needs a little bit more lift from her legs. Um, and Nelson just taller than everybody, just easily brings it down. Like I said, Gateway needs to utilize Nelson more. She has the ball, see what she does. She's gonna pass to Ratchford. Ratchford, well, she was going to dump oh, it in. That was in. a nice dish by Ratchford. Turn around, throwing it up and in is number 21, Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso. You got to put your hands up. You can't let Gateway drive and dish like that, and you can't allow them to, to get the entry pass in inside to Nelson or Down or anybody. Oh. Parrish will get fouled. Looked like it was on Nelson. Offensively, though, BCC, like I said, Craig, they look like they have a lot more continuity. A lot, they look like they have a little bit better effic efficiency on the offensive end. Making the extra pass. Working the zone a little bit. Cutting without the basketball. They just look a little bit better from the offensive end. Look, they're getting better shot selection than they have in previous games we've seen them in. Yeah, they've been pretty efficient on offense. I haven't seen too many turnovers from the Bayhawks. Yeah, they're not turning the ball over like we've seen. They don't look like they're all out of sorts and, you know, they're playing They're playing with more within themselves. Oh, nice little give and go there. And you're going to say no shot. There is a foul, though. Foul's on Adia Contractor. That's her third. Speaking of fouls, we're not seeing, we're not seeing too many fouls so far. No, again, I don't, and I don't think down. E did either team reach the bonus last last half. They did not. Yeah. And again, it's with uh, BCC trying to play conservative defense. They don't want to foul out. Idiot contractor now the closest to fouling out. She has three. Here's a short jumper for two. No good. Banks gets up with the rebound. Gives it to Parrish, who's going to drive. Parrish going go to go all the way go left blew with by the left everybody. hand. The David Cardoza endorsed <laughs> left hand for two points. Yes, I know she can do it and make a parish. Putting in second gear there. You got to believe she, she should be able to do that more often than not. She could push it. Good job by Megan Parrish. Here's Ratchford. She's going to give it to Jones. Jones takes a step, throws it up. No good. Banks gets the rebound. This is where Banks got to give it to Megan and watch her go. And she does give it to Megan. See what she does. She's going to give it to Iris. Iris for three at an Eyeball. angle. Ooh. Almost can't go. That gets tipped up. Jones gets the rebound. Iris takes it out of her hands, but Jones comes up with it. Nice hustle play there by Jones. They get those little guards. Ratchford looking to pass, but she's just going to give it away, but to the wrong person. Gives it to Deborah this Banks. Where now needs to go parish. all the way. Go all the way. Go all the way. They're going to oh, say she traveled. No foul. I don't know about that. Looks like someone reached in and might have hit. Might have grabbed the ball. I'm not sure about that. Looked like from my angle, I thought someone might have reached in. Yeah, I thought so too, but wasn't the case. BCC gets the ball right back, and Megan Perino gets it right through her fingers. <laughs> Basketball follies over here. Nice to see a little bit more enthusiasm. As we said, student night should be every home game. Doesn't take much to get people involved. And Here's a three, no good. Good job by Megan Perino to get out there and contest that three. 41 to 31, 518 to play. BCC, BCC still hanging on. Taking some time to inbound it, they do. They get it to Nelson, who will throw it back. It's like that Kevin McHale shot we saw the last <laughs> men's game. Johnny Dombrowski. Johnny Dombrowski. From uh, Quint Sigamon. Yep, what a guy. What a guy that Johnny cakes. Johnny Bravo. <laughs> Johnny nicknames. <laughs> Johnny nicknames. Here's a three from Ratchford. No good. Rivera goes under it. Ooh, that ball looked like it went off the foot of... Uh, Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso. That's exactly what happened. She tried to take it away from Iris. It ends up falling and very slowly rolled out of bounds, but again, she was the last to touch it, so it is Bayhawks ball. 
even though it is student night, it's very quiet. I walked into the gym, Craig. I thought I was going to a golf match. <laughs> then you got to see the halftime show. <laughs> the Bristol Community College Bayhawk dance into some, some of the Cupid Shuffle. Haven't heard that in forever. I don't think I've heard it since high school. Well, I believe for the men for the halftime of the men's game, we have the. Uh, oh, that's a big time try. We have the BCC Dance Club, led by a uh, good friend of mine, Dom Rapal. I like to call him the Great Wall of China. Hmm. Definitely have to stay tuned for that. <laughs> I believe Mondays at 1 p.m. You can go enjoy the BCC Dance Club down in the gymnasium, uh, down in the uh, BCC gym. Located in G Building on the beautiful campus of Bristol Community College. Go show you, go, go get your dance on. It's hip hop dance. Might get out there one of these days. Oh yeah? Oh yeah. You got some moves, Dave? Yeah. I got the moves like Jagger. Moves like Jagger. <laughs> Rivera passes to Parrish. Parrish back to Rivera. Rivera taking her time with it. Again, BCC slowing the pace. Look at uh. There you go. There you go. Take Rivera it to the hole. all the way. No good. Contract gets Look the rebound. Look who's got it. They're gonna call travel. I'm saying she traveled. <laughs> Looks like she tried to take a step back to try to get her, give herself some room, mm. but that's a travel. Yeah, I took a dance course at uh, at BCC a few right. years back. I think I might have told you I did like a, I did a Britney Spears routine. Of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really not surprised by that. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> is uh, Stubbs Peroso gets it to go. Two points. We are calling a basketball game. Yes, we are. Forty-one to thirty-four, and this game is this game is close. Even though BCC has had control of it the whole game, yeah, it's closer than what you would think. Point game. Exactly. Rivera with the ball. Shot clock winding down. It's at thirteen. Banks puts up a two-pointer. No good. Contractor tried to get a rebound. Tips it out of bounds. It'll be Gateway's ball. BCC shouldn't be hesitate to shoot. I know. Um, I know Calista Nelson getting out there, and you know she looks like a shot blocker, but she's really not blocking too many shots. No, I've seen her more on the rebound end, and uh, when they do dump it her, like they try to do right there. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too intimidated by her. I would take it right at her. And there's Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso going in for two. Yeah, that's an easy, bu that's an easy bucket. That should not happen. Rivera trying to go all the way. She'll lay it in. Nope, she will try to, but get fouled. Again, not a lot of fouls in the game. No, there's not. Both teams scared to foul. And fouls on Nelson. It's her third. I like to see BCC be more aggressive on the offensive end and take it to the hole because I just think they can do it. Between, between Iris Rivera and Megan Parrish, you get... You know, two good ball handlers with some skill. They can they can get the ball to the basket. Take it to the basket. Take it right. Take it right at uh, Carlissa Nelson and Sydney Downer. Don't be scared. Iris goes one for two from the free, uh, free throw line. Here is Tasia Jones. who will yeah. give it away to Peroso. And that once a double figures lead, Craig is now a six point lead. Where is everybody's just slow to the basketball? Get the basket, get the ball. Too many people just standing around. Both teams just look sluggish. This is like a, such a slow game. It's such a slow, methodical pace that we're on right now. Not a lot of fast breaks. Now Rivera has it though. She's gonna step back. She'll give it to Parrish. Parrish gonna drive. Try to do something with it. Here's Iris for three. It gets it. Nice. And that was big to stop the bleeding. At the three-point stroke from Iris Rivera makes it a nine-point game. 220 left in the third quarter. And BCC needed that to try to get a little bit get a little bit more separation as Gateway was closing in a little bit. BCC had a double figures lead. And now it's back to almost double figures now. Megan Parrish dives to try to get the ball. Can't Deborah Banks now playing defense. No shot of they saying there's a foul? No, they're going to call three seconds. They're going to ah. call in the paint there, def defensive three seconds. Going back to 
BCC basketball. Up against, so it's another turnover that's been Gateway's problem throughout the game. Parrish at the top of the key, gonna drive, goes up with her right hand, gets her stuff blocked though, so gets rebounded. Here's Reno Ratchford. trying to get back. Ratchford, not guarded, just goes all the way for easy two points. Yeah, Ratchford's so good. She's been the best player. She might be the best player on the court today. She's been pretty much the only thing that's been working for Gateway. Yeah, she's been their leading scorer, and there's no doubt about that. Parrish to Banks, Banks for two. Off the front of the rim, Ratchford gets the rebound. Banks always gets open looks. Ratchford not waiting for anyone. Ooh, She'll lay it in, no, a, almost got it to go though. That was like a Euro step. That was a weird little step. It was like a Texas two step over there. And she had three No travel? She had three defenders on her, but she was not afraid to go to the rim. Not afraid, did not wait for any of her teammates. Thought she could take it all herself. Well, she's very quick. She is very quick. Yeah, she, she busts like a bee. Not that tall, five foot four. Oh. Gateway Community College based out of Connecticut. Oh, oh, okay, that would have been. We see you, Iris. That would have been, 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 been sports center worthy right there. Yep. Kudos for the effort. Much rather see her grab that basketball and turn around and put it, put it up. Mm. Nelson just going to throw that's, a desperation that's, that's a, shot. Yeah, that's a wild shot. So uh, just to throw it up and hope for the best. Nelson kind of raw in her ability. She's got the stature, the height. Here's Rivera trying to bank it in. No good. Gets rebounded and then foul on the play. Foul on Deborah Banks. Just wondering how many um, BCC girls we actually have that's in, in foul trouble or in, in some kind of jeopardy of being bounced out of this game. Doesn't seem that there hasn't been that many fouls, so it doesn't seem like a dire situation right now. I think right now it's Adia Contractor has three. I think she leads the Bayhawks. There's a deep three. Got nothing but air as it goes out of bounds. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think they hit the air. Shot clock is off, 16.7 left in the third. This is probably the quietest basketball game I've ever been at. On student night, doesn't nonetheless. Seem, doesn't, it seem like a, doesn't it seem even quieter than usual? Come on, let's go. There's Banks with it. She's going to try to do something. Yeah, they get a hold on for the last shot there. Perino Gotta put it up. Well, Parrish gets tripped up it's by Ratchford. She's gonna go to the line. So that's the that's the fifth that's the fifteen foul. That should be that should be shots. That's gonna be shots. Yeah, I think that was that, that was a bad foul. <laughs> that was a bad foul. She didn't, she didn't need to do that. Yeah, left. she didn't need to do that. Half a second, literally. Yeah. And BCC, you need every single point you can get right now. That's a some big free throws. It's kind of like a golf clap from the crowd. You see that? <laughs> it is. That's what I heard when I came in. That's what I mean. It's a freaking golf clap. What in the hell is going on? We're going to catch it and just hold it. That's going to end the third quarter. BCC up by 9, 47 to 38. Going to be going into the final quarter of the game. Okay, we're back. We're going to be coming back here in the fourth quarter, the final quarter of this game. The Bayhawks up by 9. They've been leading the entire game, 47 to 38. The final 10 minutes of the game about to get on their way against Gateway Community College. Again, from FRC Media and watching on FRC Media and Facebook Live, David Cardoza and Craig Salvador. Again, holla. on the call. Holla, holla. Money and rings. <laughs> Money and rings. This guy's the most entertaining coach I've seen all season. <laughs> He's the most entertaining thing about this game, Craig. <laughs> For the love of God. And this is a nine-point game. This is a, this is should be a competitive game. You talk about a nine point game going into the fourth quarter. Single digits, BCC has a lead, but doesn't seem that way. BCC's had control of this thing. Oh. Iris Rivera trying to drive, couldn't get it to go. Got a rebound, it's a jump ball. It's gonna go to Gateway. 
Olivia Wilson in the game. Haven't seen her, I don't think, throughout the entire game. She's getting the play in for the fourth quarter. Kind of surprising. I haven't seen her too much considering she's one of the bench players for Gateway. There's a three. No good. You'd think that uh, Gateway would use their bench a little bit more for the limited bench that they have. Well, they need some kind of a spark. They need someone to come in there and get them some kind of kick in the butt. Get them going. And now another turnover by, by Gateway. Gateway just not playing, not playing particularly well. BCC looking for their second win in the conference, their fifth win overall. Good day, good night to get it. Get that home win on student night. Megan Parrish wanted the pass. Deborah Banks wanted the screen. Didn't work out. And it's going to be laid in by Sydney Downey, the six-foot center from Bridgeport, Connecticut. And nobody got back on defense there. No, again, just very easy for Gateway. And BCC very easily could be, well be tired. Nice pick there by Megan Parrish, but she should have looked for Banks. Parrish gets the ball right back, gets, the, uh, gets fouled. I think the foul is on Wilson. If you see, Megan Parrish came out to the top of the key where Megan Parrish was to set a pick for her. And then she kind of rolled to the basket. If Parrish was paying attention, she, she, she could have got Deborah Banks to the basketball. Got Deborah Banks to the basketball with like a little pick and roll there. Rivera tried to go all the way. She ends up coming up with it, gets the point. She lost it, but got <laughs> it back immediately. Wow, she got lucky there. Still a nine-point game. And almost a lot like of time a, left. Yeah, and almost looked like a carry there, but she you know, stood with it and put it up and in. There's a jump over two. I think Iris uh, made contact with it. There you go. Contested the shot. Contractor gets the rebound. Good job by Banks there, contesting the shot. Using her body a little bit and keeping her hands up. Rivera slowing the pace. They're going to bank it home. There's going to be a foul. I think they're calling an offensive foul. You got to count that, no? No. It was a foul again on Wilson, but I they're mean, saying it was before the shot. It might have been, but as soon as I mean, as soon as she heard that whistle, that ball was going in the air, and they are going to count it. Yeah, she deserves that. That was yeah. As soon as that was like simultaneous. Mm. She was putting that shot up as that whistle was going off. Wilson going to pass to Ratchford. Gets the pass to down, uh, Downer. Oh, good ball movement by Gateway. Can't get it to go, though. Yeah. Banks almost got the rebound, but Parrish is there to take it. Could Parrish going all the way. Tries to lay it in. Gets the ball stripped. They're saying it's clean and goes out of bounds. It'll stay Bayhawks' ball at the Lions' end of the court. We need to get, like, a our own Bayhawks logo to put in the center of the court, like how the Staples Center is the Clippers and the Lakers. <laughs> Just turn this into the Bayhawks gym. I don't think our Cougar counterparts, Cougars counterparts would, uh, would, endorse, <laughs> would endorse that. Why not? I don't know. It's be like a big sticker. I don't know if that violates any court regulations, but Easy jumper for two is good, Elizabeth Stubbs Peroso. Yeah, she was just sitting there in the paint and gets it to go. I appreciate how the gateway coach is working, the, working those refs, laying it in on the other end, huh? It's a good cut from Iris Rivera. Gets the bounce pass from Parrish to lay it in for two. And Iris Rivera, she's been the, um, she's been the offensive stalwart today for the Lady Bayhawks. There's a steal oh, from Parrish. Good job by Megan Parrish doing what she does best, getting the passing lane. Can't get it to go, though. Banks gets the rebound and a foul. Well, good job by Banks there to, uh, to sort of be the trailer there, to come in and get the rebound. And she'll go to line for two. And BCC slowly starting to pull away with this thing, staying out of foul trouble. They're up 12. And this is good to see if they can close them out and be closers. The boss is the second free throw. That makes it a 13 point game. Timeout called, so again, 13 point game. 7-14 left in the game. Bayhawks trying to get their fifth win of the season. 
Again, we're here on senior night. We got the men's game coming up against again the visiting, I believe it's still Gateway Community College, and it is. I like how um, I really do like how BCC is, is playing this game. Good strategy, just the way that they're moving the basketball. They're not they're not trying to play, you know, a way that they they're not able to play. They're not trying to fast break. They're not trying to push it and and get all wild. I mean, they're really you know, nice, calm, crisp passes around the perimeter, you know, and finding finding their shot. Yeah, this you know, they're getting good they're getting good looks. They're not they're not taking like these ridiculous shots. You know, they're actually running some some sort of an offense. And it's uh, good to see. People are moving, you know, girls are moving without the basketball and Yeah, they've been making good decisions, seeing few turnovers. Yeah, they're not turning the ball over like we've seen them repeatedly do in, in certain games. Wilson gonna throw it up, can't get it to go. Falls into the arms of Megan Parrish. Parrish now looking to drive again, gonna go all the way. Third time's the charm and she gets it to go, lays it in for two. Good job by Megan Parrish, takes it coast to coast. Gets the rebound on one end and takes it all the way. Good job. There's Ratchford gonna throw it up, a late foul call. Another thing with BCC too, they right now they seem like they're, they're getting to more of the loose balls, like more of the 50-50 balls, they're just coming up with more, just, uh, they're just a little bit quicker. Even though I'm sure they're tired out there. First shot can't go, it's the fourth foul for Adia Contractor. Still a lot of time left in the game. Yeah, a lot of time left in the game, Craig, but you look up at that clock now, it is a 15 point lead. And the way that Gateway has played on the offensive end, they've kind of been a little bit, uh, you know, inept on the offensive end, and they've had. It's not like they haven't had opportunities or had looks. You know. There's Rivera now in the corner for three under shot. Contractor is there, can't get that to go. Nelson with the rebound gives it to Ratchford. Ratchford now driving. She's got Parrish and Perino on her. Here's a two pointer, no good. Wilson yeah. almost got that rebound. And Ratchford, that's a, that's a that's a ball she should have took to the hole herself. She's got the speed. Is Rivera going to oh, get nice a pass. nice dish to oh, but Contractor couldn't get it to work Contractor though. went too she she went too quick. Wilson throwing it up, can't get it to go. Deborah Banks gets the rebound. And Gateway none of it really running an offense now. They're one and done in the offensive end and BCC's getting a rebound and you know. And there's a turnover as Tasia Jones comes up with it. That's a rare turnover for this game for BCC. Wilson gonna turn around, jumper gets it to go. Two look points. At, look at that. The undersized, the undersized Wilson, five foot four, somehow gets her shot off and gets it in. They got a couple, they got a couple five foot four girls on this team. Yeah, they do. They look like little mini uh, little mighty mouses out there. And Rivera just... Here I come to save the day. Steve knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's one of them old heads, like me. <laughs> Steve Reese having fun tonight. Oh. <laughs> we need to get a clown out for Steve. Forget the Bayhawk, we need like a good clown, like Doink. Doink the clown. Oh, that's another depressing uh, character. Can that be uh, the Can that be the halftime show for the men's <laughs> game? Doink the clown versus the Bristol Bayhawk. Oh, jeez. I'd watch that. You're gonna get the ring out. Pull the ring out there. No, it's got to be done on the hardwood on the hardwood floor. It's gonna be a uh, boiler room brawl style. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Good night. Great way for everybody to turn the live stream <laughs> off, Greg. <Craig. laughs> There's a three from. Who else? Miss Ratchford. Ratchford again, been the entire, basically the entire offense. There's another three from Rivera. Almost answers back, couldn't get it to go. Ratchford will get the rebound. Every time she pulls up, she's got a good release. And um, it does look like it's always gonna go. Ratchford step back, three pointer, well short. Contractor under it to get the rebound. Parrish, nice long pass. pass to Banks. Banks will put it up, can't get it to go. Rebounded by Downer. Well, Megan has such good court vision, and that's such a good pass there. She's such a good, pure passer. 
And timeout called from Gateway. 4.14 left to go, a 10 point game, 57 to 47 in favor of the Bayhawks. I give BCC all the credit in the world. You got five players. That's tough to do. That's tough to do if you're just playing pickup, you know, down at, at the park mm. and playing up to 11 or something like that. It's, it's tough to do. And you're playing four quarters. I mean, and you're up 10. Good look for um, for Bristol today. Well, I'm not sure. It looks like I'm not sure what's going on with um, with uh, Casey Amaral. It might be a might be an injury because she's playing she's playing Water Girl tonight, and Kaylee Oliver is not in attendance, not here today. So, not sure what's going on with that. Nonetheless, you have five five active players that BCC has gone to war with tonight. That being Megan Parrish, Deborah Banks, Ada Contractor, Iris Rivera, the much improved Megan Perino. Yeah, Give her a couple David points. See David Cardoza points. points for her hustle. Do they have a snack bar tonight? Well, there's a three from Ratchford again. Uh, who else? I mean, who else is it going to be? Ratchford from deep out there. Yep, seven points. Yeah. Anyway, slowly it? coming Whoa. back. Rivera going to throw it up. No good. Rebounded by Downer. And now BCC has to watch it on the offensive end now. And here's Wilson. Fakes the pass. Lays you it gotta up. you got to get that rebound. Oh, Paris tried to dive on top of it. She knocked it out of bounds. This will stay for the Lions. What is going on? Wasn't it just a 15-point lead? Yeah, it was like a 15-point lead like a minute ago, it seems like. Yeah, goodness, like a flashbang grenade went off. Yeah, you start, talking, you know, about like you start talking about snack bars, and next thing you know, we got a game. <laughs> you start talking about snack bars. Hey, I'm hungry, okay? Get that rebound. <laughs> Go get your Snickers. I could just, you're just not you when you're hungry. Dude, I could Greg. devour a Snickers. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think I'm like the only one. I think mini Snickers are better than the big ones. You're, you're so right about that. Okay, see, at least people agree with me. From the free throw line. No good. Rebounded by Contractor, though. She's going to pass Yeah, to I would set Parrish. that clock. I wouldn't be too quick to uh, start teeing him up. Unless Rivera yeah, that's out a, the that's back. Yeah, that's a stupid shot. That's a stupid shot. You don't need to take that shot right now. now you Riv need something going to go into the hole. Wilson gets blocked, but a foul yeah. either on Banks or, or and you, uh, Rivera. And you definitely don't need to start fouling now because you have... They have a chance to cut this lead to within five. And Gateway Community College has a, uh, they have a baller, a shooter in Chantel Ratchford, who's been uh, relentless in her approach today on the offensive end. As that shot goes down, it's a six point lead. And I'm not sure if BCC has too many players. As we mentioned before, I don't think they have too many players that are in danger of falling out at this point. Now you have to, you have to really buckle down on defense. You have to, and you need a good offensive possession here. Yeah, right now they have Contractor who has four and Rivera who has three. There's a pass to Rivera in the corner. Quick pass to Banks. Banks gonna put it up. No good, Contractor gets the rebound. Gonna oh, put it up again. Oh goodness, oh, that would've been a big shot by Contractor. And it was tipped up and all around. It's fouled, and the foul goes to Banks. I thought that was almost going to be on Con 80, or I thought that would have been a. I thought she so would have fouled. She would have fouled out there. She was just in that vicinity. Yeah. If you're BCC, you got to be more active on the defensive end. You can't let them take it to you. And here's a three-pointer in the corner. No good. Contractor tried to get the rebound. Oh, it gets goodness. tipped up to Parrish. Parrish driving all the way. And I think Ratchford causes a foul, and she does. Both teams have three team fouls. Actually, four now, four team fouls. One away from the bonus now is BCC as Gateway has four team fouls. Parrish gets the screen, runs right into a Gateway player. She's going to pass to Banks, who gets to Rivera. Rivera again from Curry. Oh, Lynn. my hits goodness. It. I was ready to wring her neck as she hits it from deep. Wow. Again. And that might have been the game clincher, but still a couple minutes to play. You never know what can happen. Yep. Another 
Another possible dagger three. Curry bomb here. Ratchford oh answers right back. Oh my goodness, that's what I said. She's relentless. Take it to the hole. Go to the hole. Yep, throws an underhand. Can't go. Goes out of bounds. It is going to be gateway ball. And Gateway, if they can score on this possession, will make it a one possession game. And I said that was, yeah. And I said that that shot by uh, Iris Severo was going to be a game clincher, but Ratchford goes on the other end and nails it from deep. So not quite. Seeing some curry bombs in the game. Ratchford again, same spot. You can't, can't get the give her. Same you can't reaction, give her though. that shot. How are, you, how are you letting her sit out there and shoot it? No, it almost went in. Ratchford almost had back to back threes. Banks had the rebound. Here's Parrish now. Going to throw it up off the glass. No good. Goes out of bounds. It is going to stay this way for the Bayhawks. Is it, a, is it a possibility since both teams are kind of um, under woman that maybe these referees are kind of they're kind of swallowing their whistle a little bit, letting these girls just play it out? Because I'm sure there could be a couple fouls that could have been called. A couple more fouls than what has been called so far. It's been kind of underwhelming as far as the uh, the whistles, which is which is okay to see if you're going to be, you know, if that's the way you're going to play it as a ref. At least you're being at least you're being consistent. It's like the opposite of the NBA refs. Yeah, exactly. Did you see what happened with Marcus Morris against the the Knicks game? No. Marcus Morris went in for the dunk and he he got the dunk, but he got kind of hung up on the rim and he landed really hard on his hip, so he was down like very visibly injured. And then the Knicks just inbounded the ball. The, the Celtics couldn't get an injury timeout. So the Knicks inbounded the ball. They had to wait for Semi Ojale to foul somebody before they could call a timeout. And it's just, it's very visually like Ridiculous. a jerk move because <laughs> Morris is just down hurt as the Knicks are trying to inbound the ball. Pass to Rivera. Rivera now going to put up a three. She will miss. Dude, what is up with these three point shots? You're up five. Take it to the freaking basket. Ratchford now for three. Nope. Wilson is there, though. Wilson now under the basket is going to get fouled, I think. It's either on contractor or Banks again. I don't get why you're teeing up NBA type threes. You're up, you're up five. You need to get the goal. You need to get the ball to the basket. Take the ball to the basket. Gateway is in foul trouble, obviously. BCC's going to be lucky to escape here with a win. Both teams have four team fouls now. Ratchford tried putting up another three. Couldn't get it to go. Goes out of bounds. Deborah Banks and Adia Contract are now both in foul trouble with a minute to go. Long pass over to Jones. Here's you got to play Wilson. defense. you got to get, you got to get on Ratchford. And they do. Ratchard has it now again at the top of the key. I would put Megan on it. Step her. back, puts is. up a three, no good. Oh, Banks almost got the rebound, and she will. Yeah, she's trying to live on a prayer now like Bon Jovi. Megan going to slow the pace, trying to calm down her teammates. She'll pass to Iris. Iris, step back, puts up a three. Can't get that she one She is to the go. most ridiculous player I've ever seen in my life. What are you, am, I, am I in like a twilight zone or something? What are you doing? What are you shooting that stupid, ridiculous shot? Gateway calls the timeout. I would take her out of the game. I bet I play with four players. That was going to be my Bayhawks player of the game. I am I am not giving it to her now. <laughs> Sixty to fifty-five. Thirty-three point five seconds left. I know. I just I just I don't know. You don't need to take that shot. It's not even like a good shot. All that counts is a win. But man, I mean, you're almost shooting yourself out of the game here. You're almost shooting yourself in the foot. BCC trying to escape. They had a 15-point lead, Craig, here in the fourth quarter. And that 15-point that lead has dwindled down to just five. It's still a two-possession game, though. It still is a two-possession game, but listen, there's a lot of time left on the clock. BCC needs a stop here. You need to desperately need a stop here. And you can't worry about... 
foul. Yeah, there's a three from Ratchford, no good. And that's a big miss. Contractor gets the rebound, shot clock is off. And I don't know why Gateway is not fouling right now. They should be fouling. Doesn't look like they're going to. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing there. Double teaming Rivera, and now they're on to Parrish. I don't know why their coach isn't calling for a foul. For a foul. They tried to get a steal, goes out of bounds, but it stays <laughs> for the Bayhawks. 9.5 seconds left. Oh, man. So it looks like BCC at this point will escape. Fire the Gateway coach. And they're not going to foul Parrish. They're just going to try to get a steal. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why the they haven't. They should have fouled 30 seconds ago. Oh, man. So BCC <laughs> able to escape with the win, beating the Gateway Lions 60 to 55. So, Dave, just exactly who do you think is our Bayhawks player of the game then? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I, I you know, you, you hate to take it away from someone like that, like uh, Iris Rivera, because she, she did hit some key shots. I mean, just when, you know, just when uh, Gateway would pull a little closer, you know, Iris Rivera would hit, you know, a couple of those long desperation threes. So, you, you know, going to have to give it, going to have to give it to her by default as a, uh, she was probably the best offensive player, the leading scorer for the Bayhawks tonight. So, you know, I will I will go back and I will give it to Iris Rivera. But a close runner-up is um, also Megan Powers. Just she's at the she's the floor general out there. She's what makes this team tick. And um, I'm going to give it a co co Bayhawks player of uh, players of the game today with uh, Megan Parrish. and um, just for her hustle and just the way that she. Um, is the control of everything they do, and also Iris Rivera for hitting some big shots, but terrible shot selection there at the end. But regardless, BCC comes away with a victory. Okay, so you heard it from the man himself. So BCC coming away with the win here at home on student night against Gateway. Stay tuned for us for the men's game coming up here on FRC Media and Facebook Live for Dave Cardoz and Craig Salvador. We'll say see you next time for more Bristol Community College basketball.